guys, it's Earl and Brian here. Today we're going to go over our 5 relay Busman fuse block. This is in a couple different configurations. You've seen it before on our LS harnesses. We're now offering it as a standalone item or a chassis interface. It's a pretty simple construction. So you see our five fuses over there. Each fuse corresponds to a relay, which is located right next to it. So this top ignition relay is fed with a 20 amp fuse. And what it's gonna do is that ignition relay energizes all the other relays in the box. None of them will come on without the ignition relay energized. Now, to do that, you're going to want to hook this wire up. This is your ignition positive. This is going to come from the key switch inside the vehicle. This has to have 12 volts while the key is on and also while it's cranking the starter. Now, what that relay does in the back here is it feeds a second wire here, which then ends up in the corner of your interface to give your engine harness power. It also jumps to each one of the other switched portions of the relays. Now, the rest of the relays are going to work off ground switch. So anything else like your fans or your fuel pump, everything's going to come from a switched ground, either from your ECU or from however you choose to patch in our universal kit if you bought it as a standalone piece. So it's important to know that, you know, if you want your fans to turn on or your fuel pump to turn on, that it absolutely has to be a ground. Now that's the case for the universal ones. The LS ones are a little bit different because the fuel pump is still a power, but in this case, everything is gonna be a ground. So if you look over here at our flying leads, we have the aux relay right here. So this is your auxiliary relay. This is also going to be a switch ground. Um, people like to use them for additional fuel pumps, potentially nitrous activation, items like that. Now, this won't be wired into our engine harness unless you specify it to be, but everything else will be. So everything, all our switch units are going to come from here right to the interface and our harness will provide the switch grounds directly from the ECU to control everything. Other than that, it's very simple and it works just like our flying lead interfaces if you have this. So you'll have a speed output from the harness. You'll also have the alternator light. Here you'll have a tachometer output. You're gonna have a pair of wires for a reverse light switch. Now one of these is gonna be powered and the other one's gonna go out to the reverse lamps in the vehicle. That's going to make your reverse lights turn on. We've got other items like such as AC relay and AC switch input. And um, I think that's a pretty good summary of how it works. All these wires here are going to be your power out to your consumers. So we've got fan one is green, fan two is blue, fuel pump is red, and the auxiliary relay is orange. I think that is about it. So you guys can check out our website for more information on the busman. If you have any questions, you can also call in and hopefully it'll work well for you guys.